How do you feel about your body? What do you see when you look into the mirror? Do you see imperfections? Do you see strength? Do you feel appreciation? Do you feel shame? Do you feel frustration? Do you feel capable? Do you ever wish you could change something about your body? How is your perception of your own body influencing your sexual habits and perhaps your sexual orientations? Well, let's get things straight. Good morning and welcome to day 13 of 40 Days of Sexual Purity, hashtag 40DSP. Today, I'll be speaking about body image and sex, focusing on the definition of body image and the effects of a negative body image on sexual behavior and also what to do when your perception of yourself has a negative influence on your sexual purity journey. So stay right there. First, remember the best way to follow this 40-day sexual purity challenge is with a purity journal in which you take notes from the teachings and also plan on how to execute the action points. By the way, if you're not subscribed to this channel, if you don't like and share the videos, and I might say if you're not commenting, then you're refusing to help us reach more people who may need the help. So, please help spread the message. If you get 5 people to subscribe to this channel this week, then we'll definitely reach our goal of a thousand subscribers. So, I have multiple conversations with different people and in therapy or counseling sessions almost on a daily basis. And these conversations reveal how our image and perception of our own bodies inform and influence our sexual habits, our sexual appetites, our willpower when it comes to sex, and even our sexual orientations. You know, people who experienced body shaming as children usually have a deep need for validation and would either struggle with pornography, masturbation, or may find it hard to let go of even toxic relationships. If a man or a woman appears to have a more masculine form, that's in the case of women, or a more feminine form in the case of men, then they usually deal with lots of shame and also tend to hate the idea of sex or may consider same-sex orientations. Now, these people usually feel like they are one gender trapped in another gender's body. People also who have had negative body image usually seem to struggle with setting healthy boundaries and would either build emotional walls or would have very weak boundaries. A very simple compliment or appreciation about one's body when this person has a poor self-esteem and a negative body image can get that person to say yes to sex when they really would rather say no. And I can tell you for sure that guys are more susceptible to this than they tend to agree or imagine. So, I decided to find out more. And the question which we must first answer is, what does body image mean? So, you may or may not have heard about it, but your body image is the way you think about your body. Now, this includes your thoughts and feelings about your body, and these can be good or bad and can change from time to time. So, our body image is formed by the thoughts, feelings, attitudes, and beliefs we have about our own bodies and the way we look. This includes our shape, our size, our weight, gender identity, complexion, and the way our body functions for us. So we may feel many different things about our body and appearance, sometimes satisfied or positive, and other times dissatisfied or negative, and maybe sometimes a bit of both or even neutral. Now, either way, our body image can influence how we engage with the world and much more it can affect our approach to sex and sexual purity. People who have experienced some form of sexual abuse will tend to have a negative body image. They hate their own bodies and either close up to the idea of sex 
or decide to do it without boundaries or caution as a coping mechanism or trauma response. So, when your body image is positive and healthy, you would have more self-esteem and more self-acceptance. And this means that a positive body image makes a person less likely to succumb to social or peer pressure. They do not need sex to validate their beauty. So, body image is largely influenced by the words of parents and authority figures. And every time I think about this, it levies so much intentionality on my style of parenting as a parent because everything you tell your child about their bodies can inform their sexual behavior or sexual orientation in the future. Body image is also influenced by beauty standards that are set by the media, the fashion and entertainment industries. Body image is also influenced by the attitude and words of our peers and of course, it could be influenced by natural deformities, accidents, or health conditions that influence the bodies. And so when you think about all of these points, you have to be very aware about how these are informing your image, your feeling, and your thoughts about your own body. A person with negative body image feels dissatisfied with their body and their appearance, and such a person may compare themselves with others and feel inadequate when doing so. This kind of person will feel compelled to monitor their body. So constantly measuring, weighing, or looking in the mirror frequently to analyze what their body looks like. This kind of person feels ashamed or embarrassed about their own body or would feel uncomfortable or awkward in their body. They don't feel comfortable in their own body and they see parts of their body in a distorted way. And truth is, all beauty standards are set by the culture. But the way you think about your body, the way you feel about your body, your complexion, your, your weight, your race, and all of these things that define your physical identity has a large effect on your sexual behavior, your sexual appetites, or even your sexual orientation. And so here's my point. If you don't like or feel good about your body, you are more likely to think about sex as an alternative for love, telling yourself that if anyone can have sex with you, then they really like you because they like your body. And truth is, that is so false. Someone can have sex with you and not like you. You see, but you would tend to be susceptible to thinking that sex is an alternative for love because of your need for validation. If you don't like or feel good about your body, you are also more likely to struggle with addictive behavior, for example, addiction to masturbation and porn, or addictions to unpleasant sexual activities. Because your body or the fact that you experience body shaming and the power of shame in creating a toxic loop where you feel ashamed and then you run to these addictions like masturbation or porn to feel the emptiness and eventually even feel worse after. So be very conscious about addictive behavior and shame and struggling with all of these different thoughts about your body. If you don't like or feel good about your body, you would tend to need validation. And this makes you very susceptible to strange sexual practices. It also makes you susceptible to having weaker sexual boundaries or in general, struggle to say no when you really should. This can also make you struggle to open up to your spouse sexually. And so, actual studies have shown that most gay men have the fat phobia or have been shamed for either being too small or having too much weight at least once in their lives. Women, in general, are more likely to struggle with a negative body image. And the truth is, the journey of sexual purity is going to be a real struggle if you don't develop a positive body image and learn to love what you see when you look into the mirror. And so, I want to give you a few points on how you can develop a positive body image. Number one, don't body shame yourself, alright? Speak nicely to and about yourself. Don't 
go saying very negative things about yourself. Number two, don't compare yourself with other people. That's very negative and usually you are setting the wrong standard. Number three, learn to accept a compliment. When somebody says you look beautiful, don't say I know, don't deflect, don't walk away from it, don't say you too. Just say thank you, accept the compliment and let it just nourish you. Next, find good things to like about your body and focus on them. Next point, pay attention to your body. Learn to study your body and how it changes and adapts to different environmental conditions. Next, surround yourself with people who affirm you in a healthy way. Now, not because they are trying to manipulate you into having sex with them, but really because they think what they are saying. Next, improve your body care. For example, eat better, have better sleep, invest in exercise, better hygiene, and of course, just general body care. Also, be realistic about how others are viewing your physical appearance rather than assuming others are criticizing you behind your back. And so this is the tendency that when people don't feel good about themselves, they're constantly assuming that everyone is speaking evil about them behind their backs. And lastly, avoid the triggers that set off negative thoughts. So try on following social media accounts, for example, or walking away from people who trigger you or who are constantly shaming you, fat shaming you or shaming your complexion and all of that. In general, it is very important to develop a better body image because it will enhance your sexual purity journey. The Bible says in Psalm 139 verse 14, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, the Bible says, For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. And lastly, the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 3, the verses 3 and 4, Do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, or putting on fine apparel. Verse 4, Rather let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of the Lord. So, what can you do today? Number one, take time to journal. Ask yourself what you really think about your body, your shape, your size, your weight, gender identity, complexion, and all that. And focus on what you like or don't like about yourself and do a self-evaluation of your body image. Number two, answer this question. Do you think your body image has influenced your sexual behavior, your sexual boundaries, your sexual orientation or sexual habits in any way? How so? And if you can, say why. So, write these answers in your journal and pray about them. And lastly, if you feel that you need to seek professional help with a counselor, a therapist, or a pastor to discuss the negative body image that you're experiencing and how it may be influencing your life and sexual behavior. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that this teaching will allow you to see that indeed you're wonderfully and fearfully made, that you are the marvelous, beautiful creation of your heavenly Father, and that as you begin to see yourself in a better way, it will enhance your need to stay sexually pure for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. It was beautiful having you on today's meditation. I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. God bless you. Goodbye.